it is currently about almost 12 midnight and it's a Monday night and I just thought <sighs> make a video right now because I just did my hair and I'm not going anywhere anyway um I want to make a video about uh, reptilian, Illuminati, alien, conspiracy theories that I've been reading up on recently. Um, how did it start? Well, I have one friend who meant it to me that he was, um, researching about aliens and watching YouTube videos about alien sightings, supposedly sightings and it sparked an interest so usually whenever I get interested in something I just look it up on the internet so I did and I started um, reading Wikipedia articles um, checking out videos and the more I thought about it the more I couldn't stop finding information about it. Whew, sorry. So anyway, it started off with me just out of curiosity trying to figure out what sort of alien theories are there. And then it led to me reading something about Scientology and then something about the Illuminati and then I basically researched everything on the Illuminati not everything but quite a bit of information and it led me to deduce that according to some theories that the Illuminati started off as a, you know, came from the aliens in their rich ancestral past, and basically they created and they bred us with these reptilian aliens, and those people are like the root founders of the Illuminati and then their descendants are what comprise the race. And, you know, videos, I mean not videos, but movies like Stanley Kubrick, I watched Shut It. I mean, the first time I saw that movie, I was just plain freaked out by it, like the, the sex and the costumes, but I didn't realize how much symbolism and how parallel to a lot of these theories this movie was. And you know, there's theories that he died like five days out after releasing this film because he exposed a lot of the secret societies, you know questionable and controversial rituals. You know, with the satanic um, exhibition. You know, it just blew my mind even more so because I knew something wasn't right with that movie. It couldn't be fake. I just felt like it was really profound in, in exposing something. Anyway, these are all just theories. I don't believe them to be 100% true because it is at the end of the day, say the science Sado science. 
and um, you know it's a little bit thick so I'm super suspicious but from my personal experience I find my superstitions to be often accurate <sighs> but everyone is their own judge so I'm not here to say that you know expose anyone that like this is the way it is and you're all ignorant and blind to the truth no I don't think that's the case at all I think you know we don't really know what's out there so nobody can tell you what is and what isn't it's all what you believe you know? every person has different perception so you know it's an infinite amount of possibilities in my view and this is just one of them possibilities that attempts to explain these hidden gaps that we are completely clueless about like for example our life beyond earth you know we suspect that there may be life beyond earth and we might even go so far as to stretch that there might be suspicion of life within the earth i.e. like the dwarf demons but um at the end of the day it's completely I mean it's not there just have been people who come out and said things like that but it's not widespread knowledge obviously and those accounts are often deemed as hoaxes etc I don't know I mean there's just so many things you know that like the spiritual component of it all like existence of God you know very fascinating and I guess I'll just take this moment to express my own opinion on it whether I know I believe it's true um I believe some of it's true but a lot of it could just be you know our own delusion because especially in say science or pseudoscience I don't know how to pronounce that um, we get caught up in our own problems when we interpret the world so whatever we want to see we're gonna see but that may not be what is actually there and I think there's um that's that's room enough for a mistake to happen in interpreting these things that you're supposed to supposedly given evidence upon but for me personally I believe very much in a person's free will their, their capability of being the master of their fate so whatever you want you do and nobody should judge you for it and you know this extends to your lifestyle do what makes you happy because that's the thing that I find the most intriguing you know people and society I lose faith in them all the time on a daily basis it's not what I come home to it's not what I see when I'm alone if that makes sense you know 
that I'm completely alone in my own business. Nothing else should matter except me and my own thoughts and interests. And I don't think anybody else except me is entitled to make any decisions for myself. That's why I don't want to join religions. It's just I never feel comfortable around people. And that much, I just can't really go to them with that. Unless it happens, it happens. But until then, I will suffice to be my own person. Largely independent, and maybe that comes off a little bit crude, but I'm not someone who absorbs negative energy very well. And I just need to be in a constant state of being chill, because otherwise, it's a little hectic. Anyway, that's all I really feel like talking about now, so I'm just gonna go to sleep. Bye.